was allergic to bats. Whoa, watch out! I think you just got hooked. <laughs> It's your favorite ex-girlfriend, Tessa, and unlike most videos where I'm telling you to dump his ass... Who changed this? In this video, I'm helping y'all bring it together with 10 guaranteed steps to make your partner madly obsessed with you. We gonna catch him, ugh, and we gonna get him hooked. But, before we get started, go ahead and do your girl a solid and hit that subscribe button. Not just because I'm running out of rent money and need the watch views, but because once I'm done with these 10 tips, you'll see I'm a goddamn genius. My mom said so. <laughs> okay, now that you're subscribed, you did right. Let's get Bay to blow up our phone with cute little heart emojis and eggplants. Now to my dudes out there watching, I see you and I appreciate you. So just know that today's advice is catered to y'all too. We gonna get your lady hooked. So pencils out and take notes because ladies, when it comes to getting your man hooked, the first step. Now I'm not saying never hit them up. And I'm also not saying wait for them to text you before you text them. What I am saying is let them miss you. As much as you wanna check in and know what they are up to at all times of the day. Let's be real. You do. Ease up on the play-by-play -play of y'all's day and try and match their flow. Communication. Easy and breezy, baby. Now for my men out there to get your lady hooked, do the opposite, okay? Put a little extra effort in on the text front. Let her know you're thinking about her. A simple text with a hey and a smiley face can go a long way. Now, the next step to getting your partner absolutely obsessed with you is winning over their friends and family. Invite their friends out for drinks. Send their sister a Facebook invite. Say hello to their mom the next time you hear them on the phone with them. These are Bay's loved ones, AKA the gatekeepers. Now, while the approval of your partner's family might not be a huge deal breaker to them, who doesn't swoon over someone who's captured the heart of our BFFs or moms? Send that Facebook invite. Now, the third step to getting your partner to board the train to Love Town. That was corny. I realized it. I've accepted it. But this next step is something honestly that you should be doing already for yourself, partner or not, and that is know your worth. Duh. How are your partner gonna value you at a 10 if you only put yourself at a six? Now, we all know confidence is sexy on everybody, but that doesn't mean that you have to be naturally outgoing or extroverted to get a hook. Confidence is being secure with yourself. And if you see yourself as someone who deserves nothing but the best, then your partner is going to feel like the best for being with you. Which brings us to our next step to infatuation, which is be you. Now, I know that probably seems a little obvious, but ah, a lot of us like to put on a cute little act to get face attention. But let me ask you this. How long are you going to keep that up for? Because eventually the real you is going to come out and confuse the hell out of bay. You should not have to try that hard. Trying ain't sexy, being sexy. And you already got their attention by being you in the first place, so own that and reel them in all the way. Should I be a fisherman? Moving on, step number five to getting Bay hooked is to form a deep connection with them. And the best way to do this is to engage in real conversations. Now, I know when we first start talking to someone, we usually just talk about surface presentation irrelevant but if you're trying to make a lasting impression you gotta go deep ask them about their childhood their goals their secrets and then reciprocate with your deepest feelings once you unlock that level of personal information you're not just some random person they're talking to anymore it's intimate now we got feelings involved now once you've gotten to that level with bay the next step to keeping them there is to take all that personal information that they told you and remember that you were listening, right? Good, because that's the key to winning them over. Listen and learn, and then use it going forward. Show an interest in their interest. It's a guaranteed score. For example, I'm a huge TV buff, so if you come to me talking about the character development of Orange is the New Black in season two, episode 11, panties will drop 108%. Take an interest. Okay, step numero siete to get your partner to fall head over heels is 
gotta keep up appearances. Now what I mean by that is attraction wise, the level that you came into the relationship with is the standard. That means you can go higher and live better. You can stay the same, keep it chill. But I wouldn't go lower, okay? Because that means letting yourself go. And let's be real, we all sign up for a certain version of our partners and we wouldn't want them getting sloppy on us. Besides, once they put a ring on it, you can get as sloppy as you want. That's marriage. <laughs> but we're not there yet. First, we gotta get them hooked. Now, the next step to do so is simple and you've probably been overlooking it this whole time, which is compliments, people. Deserved compliments. Did Bay get a new haircut? Try a new cologne? Achieve a work goal? Let them know you noticed that And before you even think it, do not be afraid that a compliment will make you look thirsty because you'd be surprised how far a compliment can take you. I've done regrettable things because someone once told me I look like Rihanna. So here's the thing. At the end of the day, we all want a partner who makes us feel good about ourselves. So make them feel good. Show them that you pick up on the little things that others might not. Oh, guys, we have like two more steps yet, but it's like I can almost hear my phone blowing up with love texts from Bay. <laughs> Is that my phone? Hi! Oh, you're filming? Once I'm done, I'll, I'll call. Oh my god, you're like in the video right now. Look, it's proof I have friends. Say hi! <laughs> hi! <laughs> Nobody cares about you. It's about me. <laughs> I told you I have friends. Friend. Moving on to the next step to winning base heart, which is actually different for women and men. So ladies first, to get your man hooked, when it comes to your beliefs and disagreements, stand your ground. If you're thinking always siding with Bay is gonna win him over, you're wrong. You actually end up looking clingy as hell as though you're afraid to lose him, which eventually turns him off. Now remember what I said earlier, a man respects a woman who respects herself. So stick to your opinions and show them that you have your own mind and standards. Now, for my men, in your case, if you are trying to woo that special woman, then I recommend you somewhat do the opposite and try having a more open mind when it comes to her thoughts and opinions. Being open to changing your mind is a sexier quality than y'all know. Now, I know these steps kind of conflict with the genders, but them the rules. I don't make them. I just explain them. Now, the next step to catching that bay and reeling them in is to live your life. And by that I mean be unavailable sometimes. And just because y'all are dating does not mean you need to plan your whole day around them. You still got work, you still got friends, you still got a whole life that's yours. Keep it that way. And I'm not saying blow them off for and giggles. I'm just saying let them be curious about what you're up to, you know? Make them wonder because that lustful intrigue will eventually turn into love. And there you have it folks, 10 guaranteed tips to getting your bae hooked. Now, you guys know your partners better than I do, <laughs> or so I'll let you think. So follow the steps that you think work best for you and your bae, and if you've tried a bunch of these and they're still not where you want them to be, that just might mean they ain't meant to be there. So save your efforts for someone trying to appreciate them. Because if the compliments didn't work, they're an asshole. So now that you have retained all of this information, I beg of you, please use it wisely. Because if you use these steps on any random, you might just end up locked in a glass box, Joe Goldberg style. You've been warned. So go forth, young grasshoppers, and use this knowledge to your advantage to win the love of your life. And when that fails, come back and watch my video on red flags to see why this whole thing could have been avoided. So if you found this video helpful or funny or you jacked off to it, show your girl some love and hit that subscribe button. I deserve it. And on that note, I'm going to go start a text relationship that I have absolutely zero intention of making IRL. <laughs> All right.